I blinked, found myself in a moment of introspection. Not surprised by the developments that played out like a 3D movie, I told myself to listen. I turned my hands palms up and it was day. Turned in the opposite, the night arrived. I shaved my head bald so that no land would be barren. The sweat from my brow, though small, provided rain. Farmers would never have to worry about droughts ever again. I had dialogue with Stephen King, Alfred Hitchcock, Five Barker, and Rod Serling about bad dreams I had. Thus, spawning books, TV shows, and movies that would define horror and suspense. Conversely, the fantasies floating through my mind are depicted in the Psalms of Solomon and what every lover aspires to but never reaches. When I run, my feet leave Barry Allen, Ubar, Thon, and Pietro in the dust. Superman and every creature with wings follows my flight plan when I take to the air. And all the inhabitants of the sea, Aquaman, Namor, and Neptune imitate my strokes. My name is Leviathan. You should dig me. You should so dig me. Women want to be with me, whether single or taken. A glance from me causes their hearts to stop in rage, threatening to leap from their breasts. My voice is such a hypnotic tango. When it caresses their ears, the effect is of Lorelei or the Pied Piper. And if I place a finger upon their flesh, willingly they give themselves to me for a day plus eternity. Oh, such a heartthrob am I. Every moment in the past, present, and future, my presence has influence. I stepped in front of the bullets that would have slain Kennedy, King, Lincoln, and X. Eradicated the African slave trade, prevented the Holocaust. I stopped the bombing of both Hiroshima and Pearl Harbor, and I made everyone colorblind. I kept the towers from being hit on 9-11, rendered guns useless at Columbine, Colorado, Virginia Tech, and Northern Illinois, and I paid teachers what professional athletes make. But before all that... Tap the Almighty on the shoulder Saturday night to let him know that I'll take care of Sunday. I smiled at this reflection that was myself, and I blinked. And I realized that like Miss Giovanni, I wasn't just ego tripping. I'm narcissistic. My poem.